Hey guys, Tango here, and today I'd like to show you my super compact, 100% lossless sugarcane farm for Minecraft 116 and above. As many of you know, zero tick farms are finally being fixed in version 116, so that means we need to move back to some of the more traditional designs. So that means the most reliable design is really just one involving pistons, and this design here is extremely compact and is going to allow you to farm sugarcane more densely than most other designs. The back-to-back -back piston configuration you see here allows more sugarcane to be planted horizontally and restricting the sugarcane to only grow two blocks tall saves space vertically when stacking the farm. And of course, this design is very modular, so it can be expanded vertically as much as you want or horizontally in either direction, allowing you to pretty much build this in any size or shape you'd like. And finally, this farm is 100% lossless. This means that no sugarcane will ever get stuck in the farm and every piece you harvest will be collected. So for this tutorial today, we'll focus on how to build a single module and then how to extend that design in any any direction to fit whatever layout you like. Okay, so to get started building this thing, you're gonna always start out with two rows of dirt that is eight blocks long with a one block gap in between and a trench that is one block deep. So something like this. So this design here is going to push all the sugarcane out that direction. So if this is your back wall, you'll have a solid block there. And if this is the last module in this direction, you're gonna to wanna to put a stair right there like that. If there's gonna be more modules connected out in that direction, you'll have a solid block there anyways. Now you need to waterlog this entire thing here, including the stairs, okay? Once that's done, put slabs, top slabs on all of that. So you have waterlogged top slabs and a waterlogged stair. Next up, you're gonna wanna add in your pistons. There's gonna be eight of them on each side, one for each dirt block, and they need to be positioned up to and over one such that when they extend, they'll be pushing over the second level of each sugarcane. So eight on each side, looking just like this. And then when you get those in there, go ahead and put solid blocks of whatever you want right along the top of each one. Okay, now you're gonna wanna grab a couple of observers and head down to the back of the farm here. Again, the sugarcane in just a second is gonna be flowing down that way. So you want I get an observer first just like this looking at the base of where the first sugar cane will go and then put another observer pointing straight down into that observer watching it from there put a block on top of that second observer and a block right there and then just grab some redstone dust and run it down the line now at the back of the module here, you're gonna to need to add some solid blocks right here. I kind of prefer glass because it's sometimes nice to be able to see into the back there, but that of course is up to you. Now, if this is the edge of your farm right here, in other words, if you're not gonna go any more over here in this direction, then you can go ahead and just repeat the same observer, observer system just like this, one like that, okay, and another block. Just basically mirror that side like this and take the dust and go all the way down. If, however, you are not doing that, then you could just take solid blocks here and go all the way up. So if there's going to be another module over here adjacent to it, uh, then you just do this and the observer from the module over here will also power this line So what you still need to do however is run redstone dust all the way down just like that Okay, you're now ready to go ahead and add the sugar cane down both sides on all 16 pieces of dirt And again when you put that first one in next to that observer there You should see your full line of pistons on that side extend do the same thing on the other side again Make sure you don't miss any blocks once that's in grab some slabs of any kind and you want to top slab the water there so you're water logging these slabs uh, on top of the water that's already there and then you're going to flow some water down in between the sugar cane now the water below inside there that's waterlogged is so that you can plant the sugar cane the water on top that is flowing is to catch the sugar cane that just barely falls on the edge of these the, the dirt blocks and this is what makes this farm lossless or it's one of the things that makes it lossless now if this is the bottom lever, level of your farm. In other words, if there's not another module down here, you're good. If there is another module down here, you want to go ahead and break these slabs right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leave the stairs there, okay? This allows items from down below to occasionally pop up and flow through here without getting stuck below. We're just about done with the module now. You want to add some iron bars starting in that middle block right there and bring these all the way down. So there should be eight of them right in front of each of the pistons there. These are so that as the piston smashes the sugar cane off, they bounce into the iron bar and fall into the water. That's what happens to 99% of the sugar cane. And finally, we're going to need some blocks on top of where the pistons extend, where the third block of 
the sugar cane would be. Now, if this is the top of your farm, this can be any block you want. If there's gonna be another module up above, this is gonna be a line of dirt. So you can just do dirt if you want, it's not gonna hurt anything, uh, or you can just solid block it up if, it, if you wanna make it look a little better from the top. So just like that, and your module is done. Okay, so now I'd like to talk about how you would extend this modular design and add other modules in each of the three directions. That being, extend another module out here to uh, elongate the design, another one over here so it's adjacent or even stack another one up on top to make the, the, the entire farm taller. So first, let's talk about how to extend the farm lengthwise. In other words, all of the sugarcane produced from this farm is gonna go that direction, okay? It's gonna flow down here and obviously fall off the end of this stair. And I'll show you how to make a catcher for it and all that stuff later. But for now, let's assume you want to continue and add another module right here down the line. So you're gonna, put, gonna wanna put three packed ice just like that with a pressure plate right on top of the middle one. You're also gonna need a couple of blocks there and there, as well as some glass underneath right there and right there to keep the sugar cane from popping out and landing directly on the ice. Up on top now, you're gonna wanna get a repeater and extend the signal like that, okay? There's gonna be another module over here and the redstone will pick it right up. If, however, you have another module on the side, you're only gonna need one repeater, you won't need two of them, but if it is the end module and this is the edge of your farm right here, then go ahead and add another repeater right there. At this point, you're ready to start the next module with your two rows of eight blocks of dirt on each side and follow just as if you were building the module just before it. So when you're done, your extended module should look just like this all the way down. Notice the three glass blocks in between and the three packed ice with the pressure plate on the middle of it and you should be looking good. And of course, nothing is stopping you from chaining this again and again if you'd like. It depends on which way you want to grow this farm. All right, now I wanna show you how to extend the farm laterally. That is, kind of put another whole line here adjacent to it so that they're back to back. And this farm takes advantage of the fact of that the pistons are actually touching back to back like that. So it makes stacking the farm in this direction very efficient. So of course, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your two rows of dirt in. Now, I'm gonna show you how to tile this farm laterally that has also been extended lengthwise, but the same principles hold true here. Even if the farm wasn't extended in that direction, it's pretty easy to tile the farm laterally like this. So you wanna get your rows of dirt in there and those are two blocks between that this row over here and the previous row from the other module. Once those dirt blocks are in, just go ahead and build the entire thing out exactly as you would have done the module previous to it. Now, the only difference to be aware of has to do with the redstone, which you can see here. So looking from the back now, you're only gonna need one pair of observers for this line of pistons here, as well as the back-to-back -back line of pistons on the other side. So this one observer pair here will work for both modules. You can just take out the observer pair that was right there and just wire the redstone up just like this. And obviously you don't need a second repeater there. One will be enough to, to carry the signal all the way down. And if you feel like it, you can add in all the missing blocks on the back of the farm to just to kind of make everything look nice and flush if you want. And of course, if this is going to be the edge of your farm right here, in other words, if you're not gonna tile more laterally, then you do need an observer pair there and you do need to run this single redstone line down. So this would be a good example of a two module wide farm. You would see the observer pattern on this side, running that edge and one on this edge. If you did tile it more laterally, you would see more of this kind of stuff right in the middle of the farm. Okay, so finally, let's talk about what it takes to stack this farm vertically. And it's actually really simple. All you need to do is change these blocks here and add a line of packed ice across so that the items can slide across. You wanna grab some stairs and put them down at the end on top of the iron bar from the module below. And then go ahead and grab your water source and flow them all the way in between, waterlogging the stairs as well. And you should note that this water is gonna be sitting directly on top of the iron bar of the module below. Okay, so I built out the rest of the modules and again, they are built pretty much exactly the same. The only thing I wanna point out here is when you're adding your flowing water source on top of your waterlog top slabs there, you absolutely wanna make sure that you break the slabs below it like this, okay? And you'll notice now that there's really nothing in between these two modules vertically except water. And what we're gonna get is now some of the sugar cane that has popped off on this side will hit the iron bar and actually fall through to the farm below it. That's perfectly okay. And and, and likewise, some sugar cane from this side is actually gonna pop off and occasionally hit that water source and even flow up to the water source above it and flow off the top edge there. It doesn't really matter either way. All the uh, sugar cane is gonna flow off these edge sides here. 
And speaking of items flowing off the edge, it should be pretty straightforward on how to build a collection for this whole farm, but I'll show you anyways, just in case. Items, you're gonna get a line of solid blocks just like that, block out here like that, and then just run some glass or whatever right, right here, all the way down so you can see the items if you want them. Block off the back sides here like that. You want to be sure not to have a block like right there though because some of the items do come down on the edge and then they'll just sit on top of here without falling in. Go ahead and add your water source and just let it flow all the way down. Over here you can put your hopper and your chest or whatever your storage system is. Um, just remember if you have an exceptionally wide farm and you need to continue this, of course you're going to need to put in a packed ice with a pressure plate and continue it that way. Just make sure that this pressure plate is not directly on any one of these three blocks right there. Okay, You want to do it like on something like right here or something like that so that the, the, uh, the items when they land will not land directly on the pressure plate. And finally, once you got your collection system in, you are going to need to put like a little vertical wall of glass here and that's basically however high your farm is. If you, if you have a, a farm that's just one tall then you won't need this part at all but for every every layer you add up you need to bring your this wall up even at least with this block here so that items flowing off that shelf will hit this wall and fall down into the stream below so same thing in front of every module just like that and again if you had more modules going up you would carry this wall up as high as needed and that is it the farm is complete I've turned the random tick speed way up here just so you can get an idea how crazy this thing is under top speeds but We've got a very compact design here that is lossless and easy to build, so go ahead and make one. Guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button, show your support for the channel, and if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content just like this one. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you watching. I will see you next time.